last gentle core class. So sad. Um, starting next week, it's gonna this at this time slot, it's gonna be low impact bar taught by Megan, and it's gonna be wonderful. It's gonna be pre and postnatal friendly, so like still focus on core. All right, so let's warm up with a little yoga flow, and then we will actually be doing some lunges and step ups and stuff. So not so yogi flowy. All right, so let's come to the end of your mat. Inhale, reach up. Big breath in and exhale, folding forward. Let your head and shoulders be heavy. Okay, and your knees are soft. If you want, you can kind of sway your hips side to side. All right, just opening up through the back of the body. Let your head and shoulders be heavy. Come back to center and slowly rolling back up to standing one vertebrae at a time. There's no rush at all. I was going to rename this class the Tired Mama's Club. We've all been up <laughs> throughout the night, I'm sure. Let's do that one more time. Inhale, reach the arms up and exhale, fold. All right, now we're going to walk our hands forward, coming into a plank position. We always start off this way to get things activated, all right? So a couple reminders, no sloping through the shoulder blades. Press up between your shoulder blades, core engaged, strong legs, squeezing the glutes gently. And make sure you can breathe. Right, it's very quiet over here as we focus on our planks. We've got five more seconds here. Breathing. On your exhale, let your hips sink down to the mat. Draw your shoulders back. Reach your chest up to the sky. Good. You're going to lift your hips up using your core muscles. And then you're going to walk your hands towards your feet. Folding over here. From here, walk your feet a little wider than your hips, maybe the distance of your mat, and let's just drop your hips down into a deep squat position. All right, let's just open up, since we are going to do some squats and a few modified lunges, just want to open up through the hips. So you can press your knees out with your elbows, palms at your chest, let your glutes kind of just release here, okay? I'm always clenching glutes. I'm always telling you to squeeze your glutes, engage your glutes. Right now, let's just release and breathe. Feel that nice stretch through the inner thighs. All right, maybe planting one hand down in the center and reaching the other arm up. Not why I should said, sure why I said maybe. Let's do it. It feels good. So good on the low back as well. All right, let's switch sides. Reach the other arm up to the sky. And release down. Okay, plant your hands down in front of you and then rock your hips up. And then you'll slowly roll up to a standing position. Head comes up last. All right, we're gonna come down into a low lunge. All right, back knee is on the ground, hands down. We're not gonna be here for that long, okay? Not as long as usual. So just staying here in this low lunge position, and then pick up the knee, step back, step forward with your other leg, drop that knee down. We're still in warm up mode. Okay, you're going to pick up that back knee, step back into plank. One more time, we're going to do this on each side. So other leg comes forward, drop the knee. Good, pick up the knee, step back. Last time, low lunging. Drop that knee, just allowing your hips to sink a little deeper. Pick up the knee, step back. Let's walk it all the way up to standing. Okay, if you need a sip of water, mamas, grab your water. We need one weight. Today I have a plate that is five pounds. You can use anything, three to five pounds. You don't even need to use a weight. 
either. So what we're going to do is from last class, maybe you missed it, maybe you did it. We came into a lunge position, okay? So let's step forward with your left leg, lunge, all right? And you're going to take your hand, it might have a weight in it, might not, and it's going to come to the outside of that left leg. So you're going to lunge and reach that arm down, okay? Just a gentle twist. And then exhale, extend that arm up and out, okay? Bring it back to center, lunge and twist. It's a gentle twist, reaching. That knee can touch the ground or hover, okay? Coming back up, roll the arm up and extend it up on a diagonal. All right, we're only doing one set, like one round of everything. All right, so we're gonna do eight here. So this is three. If that weight is too heavy or not serving your purpose here or too challenging, just drop it and let's just focus on the movement. Okay, it's really great to twist the body because we don't often move that way, right? So strengthen through twisting, building more mobility and strength. Make sure you're breathing. As you go, exhale, extend, good, inhale, exhale, extend, let's go two more, and last one here. All right, you guys look really good over there. We'll switch sides, so I don't know why I said it like that. That wasn't a surprise. You guys do look good over there. Right leg forward, left leg back. Okay, other arms just out to the side. This weight comes past the thighs, let's go. We're gonna lunge, gentle twist, and then extend. Bring that weight up to your shoulders, extend it out. Good, keep going. We've got eight to do here. Awesome. Remember, you don't have to hold a weight. Gives you a little bit more feedback on the muscles that you're working though. Are you breathing? Good, inhale, lower, exhale up. All right, we got three more. Take it nice and slow. Last two. And last one, do you feel this work through the midsection? All right, you might feel it more in the quads, but this twisting, gentle twisting motion is so good, strengthening through the obliques and the core. Did that feel good, everybody? No thumbs? Yeah, we're good. <laughs> no, it didn't. I guess, Charlie, it might feel different for you. You got a bit of an obstacle right here in the midsection. Okay, we're gonna go step ups now, again. Okay, it's not an obstacle, it's a beautiful baby bump. Okay, um, you're gonna hold your weight here at your chest, and then we're gonna come into step ups. So you step down first, okay? Step down to your knee. Make sure your foot, your front leg is on a 90 degree angle, and then you're gonna step all the way up. Can you bring your knee up towards your chest? All right, come back all the way down to your knee. Try not to rock. Press all your way into your front leg, stepping up. Use your core to bring that knee all the way up, all right? This five pounds is just really good for a counterbalance as well. But if it's not working for you, just drop the weight. Let's go, ladies, let's do it. We got five more on this side. I promise you will not be here for too long. We're only doing one round of everything. I'm gonna face you ladies now. Good, feel your core work as you drive that knee up. Okay, you're not just lifting the leg. Good, move with breath. Exhale as you come up. Helps you to power up to standing. Good, last one here. Okay, rest the leg down, and let's go other leg, okay? Other leg comes all the way down. 
Make sure your front leg's in a good 90 degree angle. Let's go. Step it all the way up. Core, core, core as you lift. Come all the way back down. We have eight to do, all right? So if I'm moving faster or slower than you, just make sure you count your reps so we're balanced on both sides. Heart rate is rising, right? It doesn't take much sometimes. But I hope you're moving nice and slowly so you feel every muscle engaging rather than working through some momentum, which just makes things a little bit easier. All right, we got three more. Are you breathing? Inhale, lower. Exhale, up. Hope you heard me breathing. That was a really big exhale, just for all of y'all over there. Last one. And rest, okay. Good stuff, we're gonna go. Um, squats with a front raise. You guys are like, I thought this was a gentle core class. <laughs> What's with all the lunges and squats? Okay, you're gonna hold your weight. If you have a dumbbell, you're just holding it on both ends, okay? It's great to have a dumbbell here to give you a little feedback because you're gonna feel it. You're gonna do a squat, come to the bottom, and then raise the weight up to your shoulder height. Even if you have a water bottle or something, that would be great, but you do wanna hold something. All right, again, we're gonna do eight. In Chinese, it's like lucky number eight. All right, I'm not sure why I'm being superstitious today. All right, let's hold the weight here. Let's go, we squat. Hold that squat, a deep squat, raise it up. Feel your core working. It might be super gentle, but feel it working. And drive up to standing. Good, by squeezing your glutes. Inhale, lower. Exhale, raise it up lower down and then come up, all right? That's just gonna help protect your back a little bit so you're not holding something heavy away from your body. I mean, we all do that with our kiddos, don't we? Holding them up here because they think it's so fun and cute. <laughs> all right, we're about halfway. You guys are moving nice and slow. Sure, use your baby as that weight. <laughs> Keep them entertained. Might be a little heavier though. Make sure you are breathing. We've got two more. Exhale as you raise. Last one here. And all the way up. Okay, great stuff. We are gonna do standing oblique work. So, okay, holding a weight or using your own body weight, you're gonna extend that arm up. All right, you're gonna extend the arm up, feet are hip distance, and then you're gonna squeeze the elbow into your knee. All right, strengthening through the side of your body, and then straighten it back up. All right, so again, we're gonna do eight. Are you ready? Let's extend that weight up. Stand nice and tall. Let's go. Squeeze into the side of your body and extend. Squeeze and extend. Again, you do not have to use any weights here. Focusing on your balance as well. Inhale, extend. Exhale, squeezing. Good, last three. Keep that knee wide. Try not to lean too much over to the other side. And last one. All right, let's switch sides. That's hard, right? You feel that in your shoulders? No, maybe, okay. All right, great. <laughs> okay, I saw the shake, the shake made me happy. That's the best response ever. Switch hands, other arm out to the side. Let's go, squeeze that knee in. Working on your balance, extend. Exhale, squeeze, and extend. Good, keep going, we're all the way up to eight. This is three, four, five, good. These are hard, am I right? Last two, try not to lean.
leaning too much to the side. And last one. All right, we did it. We are down to the mat for the rest of the session. We're gonna start with our little plank series. Okay, so find your way down to the mat. Monica's really excited about that. <laughs> okay, grab a sip of water if you need it. For our, for our tired mama's club, we're all excited about going down to the mat. But our plank series is not all that relaxing, okay? We're going to start with shoulder taps. So for the purpose of this class, I recommend staying on the knees, okay? But you're not in tabletop. This is tabletop. So let's all come into your plank position from toes, and then we'll all drop down to our knees, okay? Just to set it up properly. So from toes, you're going to drop down to your knees, but check that your hips are not reaching back. Keep your hips reaching forward, pelvic tilt, squeeze the bum. All right, good. We're gonna do three different things here from our plank position. The first thing we're gonna do is walk our hands out towards the edge of the mat. Okay, into a bit of a super woman position. Walk it out, squeeze the glutes, and then walk it back. All right, just great engagement. Walk it out. Squeeze the glutes. Notice that when you do that, you feel your pelvic floor engage. You feel your core connected as well. And then walk it back. Okay, so when you walk it back, maybe you release the glutes a little bit. Tuck the tailbone. Squeeze the glutes. Walk your hands forward. Feel your pelvic floor and your core engage. And walk it back. We're going to do that four more times. Okay, make sure you're releasing in between. Exhale, squeeze your glutes, pelvic tilt, walk your hands forward. So much deep abdominal work here. Release gently as you come back to plank from knees. We got three more, let's go. Walk it forward, pelvic tilt, activate the glutes. And walk it back. Last two. These make me sweat. I don't know about you, but working so hard from doing so little. Okay, squeeze the glutes, pelvic tilt. I'm just saying it every time to remind you because we're not just moving the hands forward and back. Release here in your regular plank. Let's go. Last one. Exhale. Walk your hands forward, pelvic tilt. Engage the glutes. All right, come back to plank, and let's just push back, release everything, child's pose. Okay, that's one out of three. Next one is just going to be a shoulder tap. So let's come to our toes again, just to reset, and then you drop down to your knees. All right, keep your hips forward, you're keeping that pelvic tilt. All right, the whole time. Now you're going to pick up one hand and touch your opposite shoulder. Hold for three, two, one. Place your hand right under your shoulder. Other side. For three, two, one. Tap your hand down. Switching sides. So keep both knees on the ground. Try not to let your hips move side to side. You keep alternating. Try to count to three in your head. I say try. Sleep deprived. It's hard to count to three sometimes. Keep going. Make sure you're still breathing. All right. You should feel this very deeply into one side as you balance on one arm. All right. Your free hand side. You might feel it more on that side. Good. Let's do one more on each hand. And last one here. All right, let's push back child's pose, releasing. Okay, so last plank. Sometimes I call them progressions. This would be probably the hardest one out of everything. But then the last 10 minutes, we're going to focus with exercises from our back. Okay, so you come into a plank position. You do need to do these from your toes this time. And you're going to bring your knee in 
towards your elbow. If you can, you pick up your hand and you tap that knee and then plant everything back down on the mat. Bring the knee in first and then tap that knee with control and extend back. All right, everybody, let's give that a try. If it's impossible to pick up your hand, just work on the knees. Just work on lifting the knee up. So knee up first, tap the knee, hand down, foot down. Good, exhale, bring the knee up, tap. Place the hand, foot down, keep going. Working on our balance here today. Let's do one more on each side. And when you are done, release. Come into that child's pose and feel good about yourself. We are going on to our backs. Okay, so Charlie, if it does not feel good to go onto your back, you know your modifications to do from standing, right? Yes, you might feel a little soreness, tenderness. There's a lot of weight, whole body weight on our wrists. All right, we're gonna go, I always do these in this class because I think it's so important. We got some bridges to do, some heel taps and pullovers, okay? So we'll do pullovers with the weight. So coming to your back, Pullovers, if you're not meant to be lying on your back for a long period of time, you can do elevated on a bench or you can lift your hips up in a bridge position and then do the pullovers this way. All right, so you're holding that light weight uh, between your hands, shoulders down from your ears, and then pulling overhead over your stomach. Okay, everyone else can keep your hips down if you'd like and keep your low back pressed into the mat. So let's go, we inhale, reach the arms back, tap the weight on the ground, keep your back on the ground, exhale, use your core, your lats, chest, shoulders, triceps, pulling back over. Keep your chin tucked into your chest, inhale, reach, and exhale, pull. You guessed it, we're going up to eight, keep going. Moving mindfully here and with your breath. Good, we've got two more. All right, last one here, holding the weight up, and then you're gonna bring your legs to tabletop. All right, so all options to go heel taps, one heel down at a time, keeping your legs bent, or you can go both legs at the same time. Whichever works for you, just keep your low back pressed into the mat. If you wanna make it a little more challenging, your arms go back for a pullover at the same time. So inhale, reach, exhale, squeeze back to center, Inhale, reach, keep the low back pressing into the mat. And you just reach your heels as close to the ground as you can. Let's do five more together. Four. Three. How's that low back over there? Last two. And last one right here. I'm shaking. All right, release the weight to the side, hugging your knees into your chest if that feels good. Last thing we're gonna do is a glute bridge. So if you've got your baby there, you can place um, your baby on your hips right here and you're just holding and supporting the baby. And then you're going to tuck your tailbone under, drive your glutes gently all the way up towards the sky, or hips up, and then slowly lowering down one vertebrae at a time. Keep your hips elevated. All right? So exhale up. I'm going to pretend my baby is this five-pound plate, and slowly lower. Okay, this is your finisher. 
We've got eight. And then we're going to go marching bridge. Good. So you're just peeling one vertebrae at a time off the mat and then slowly lowering back down the same way. All right. By now you should feel all this work in the glutes. Maybe it's a great engagement, strengthening through the lower back, the muscles supporting your spine and the lower back. All right, let's hold it at the top. If you can, even if you're holding your baby, you are just lifting one leg up at a time towards your chest. Drop that foot down, other leg lifts. Can you keep your hips lifted the whole time? All right, keep your lifts, hips elevated. Good. All right, keep going. We're gonna go for five more. Five, keep the hips up. Four, three, two, and last one. We did it, lowering all the way down. Drop your weight, place your baby down, roll to the side, and press up to seated. We do want to spend a little bit of time stretching today since we did actually a bit more than just mat work and core work. So let's start with our legs straight out in front of us. All right, and let's pull our toes towards our knees and inhale, folding forward. Yes, if it feels better to have your feet a little bit wider, you can absolutely do so. Just folding forward, getting that nice stretch to the back of the body, always important. Head and shoulders heavy. All right, rolling up a great stretch for the glutes is the pretzel. Yes, I gave it that name myself. So it's basically cross-legged with one foot stacked on top of the knee. If this is impossible, it's not, um, it's not uh, available to everybody. So if this is impossible, you're gonna come into thread the needle here, which we do in almost every class. If you can do the pretzel, the foot that is on top, you place your hands on either side of that foot. You turn your body over that foot, that leg, not the leg, the foot. And then you fold forward, keeping your sit bones on the mat. Head and shoulders heavy. Feel free to reach your hands, extend your hands out from that foot to deepen the stretch through the side. Or you might feel the stretch through the lower back on the one side, the opposite side of your foot. Keeping your sit bones on the mat. All right, rolling up and switching sides. Okay, sit nice and tall, hand sandwich that foot. Turn your body over that foot and folding forward. Um, as mentioned, keep your sit bones on the mat to deepen that stretch. You can also extend your arms out in front of that foot. All right, and rolling up. And you are all done for today. That's it for Gentle Core. <laughs> but you know what? There will be recordings that you can access, you know, on YouTube. So I usually make them public so 